Hello. Okay, well, welcome. We are going to be working on PowerPoint. We are going to be using PowerPoint to create this interactive work or interactive PowerPoint for your little ones. Um, and I kind of have these, which is kind of like our goal. This is what we're going for. I created these before hand just so that I um, you guys can see what the finished product looks like but here I have my blank page which is where we are going to be working on um, I like to begin by opening my PowerPoint um, into an entire window and then I also have this window which is split in half with the clip arts that I will be using for this particular project I will be using the frames which you guys see here. And I will also be using the banners, which you guys see here. Um, these clips, I get them from Teachers Pay Teachers. I also get them from Etsy. Um, all you have to do is search um, clip art frames or clip art, clip art banners, and all of these awesome, awesome clips will come up. Um, so yes, so um, this is just how I organize my windows so that I can work effectively. If you click command tab, you can switch between those two windows very easily back and forth, which allows you to just copy paste, copy paste. Um, so for the sake of this video, um, yep, I like to... As I was saying, I just like to set up my windows. If I am going to use more clips, then I will go ahead and open another window and split it in half with the other two collection of clips that I will be using so that I can just have it um, at my convenience and it's easily accessible. So to begin, I'm going to start by uh, choosing a frame. I'm going to go with this pretty blue one. I am going to click you can right click and and then um, click copy but you can just as easily press command C or control C command C and then command V or control V and that pastes it for you so you can use this little cursor thing to rotate it or as I like to do, I just kind of come on here and then just rotate it so I know that it's exactly um, that it's rotated correctly. And then I just center it. All right, so this is the frame that I am working on. Pretty simple. Then, like I said, I'm going to go to my other window and I'm just going to go ahead and choose a banner. This one looks pretty cute. I'm going to, you guys can also make your window your thumbnails a little bigger or you can see them in a different way um, but I just like to keep them like this so I'm going to command C and then command B and there we go that is a cute banner so I am going to just put it up here as best as I can and there we go so right now we are just working with uh, PowerPoint right we're just working with I'm sorry with creating the actual um, interactive PowerPoint um, so now if you guys saw this um, I went ahead and I added a text box and then uh, for the sake of mine, the one that I was doing, um, it's just, I know we're going to begin by reviewing base 10 blocks, but for the sake of this example, I am just going to go ahead and insert, go to insert and then add a text box. And I'm just going to put, maybe you want to use this for a beginning of the school year. What is the name or what is your teacher's name, right? And I always like to center my font, my text, and I'm just going to choose any, any font, sorry, any font. There we go. And I'm going to just make it probably 20, just making it a little bigger. 
and then I am going to also make the border of the question because if you guys can see the border here has kind of like squiggly lines so that's what I'm gonna go for I make sure that my frame my shape is um, clicked on and then I go here to shape format I want my outline to be black and I want to change the weight to a little bit heavier weight on the line on the outline and then I always go here to sketch and I choose this squiggly line which is my favorite I just like the way that it makes it look then I am just going to put um, Th the way that I made these, I just used shapes. So I went in here, insert, and then I drew a shape, right, with the rectangle. I just drew a rectangle. And then I did the same thing with the border or the outline. I clicked black, and I did the same thing that I did with the text box. I made the line. I think I used this one. And then, um, of course, you can just change the color with that, okay? But for this example, we're just going to keep it very simple. You can pretty much create anything on here. I am going to go ahead and just start creating the buttons. And to do that, I am going to insert, since we're talking about teachers and love, I'm going to insert hearts. You can literally insert whatever you would like. And the question was, what is your teacher's name? So to kind of make sure that three hearts will fit in here. First, I am going to, I can just as easily copy and paste these three hearts, but I want to make sure that I work on this one first so that when I copy paste, I don't have to do the same thing to the other ones that I have copied and paste. My outline, I always like it to be black. You can choose whatever color, of course. Um, and then I am going to make my little squiggly line because I, like I said, I just really like that look. I am going to change to this darker blue and then I am going to put Miss Macias, right? Um, and I'm going to change my font to black. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm going to change my font to black. That's back on your homepage. And I'm also going to change my font. So there we go. Miss Macias is one. There we go. I'm going to put Miss Gomez. Okay. And then I am going to put Mendoza oopsie and then here you can adjust the font size so it can fit all right so basically this is how you create the PowerPoint um, and now the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to hyperlink okay so let me go ahead and show you how to hyperlink okay so um, in this portion of the video, we are going to learn how to hyperlink within the uh, PowerPoint to make it interactive. Okay, so just for the sake of time, um, to I'm just going to copy these two slides, Command C, and then I am going to paste them down here, Command V. Uh, but I went ahead and I I created these slides the same way. I copied the black um, frame and then for this I went ahead and I inserted a shape which is down here the talking shape <laughs> call out um, and then I also inserted this shape which is the arrow um, and then I just inserted my bitmoji there but for the sake of this time I just copied and pasted these um, two slides. All right, so 
for for this video you know the question says what is your teacher's name well my name is Ms. Macias so I know that this heart needs to be linked to this um, page and then both of these need to be linked to the try again page so I'm going to go ahead and click this shape make sure you click the shape and you don't click in here because then it will hyperlink only one letter and you do not want to do that so we go ahead and we see right now the whole shape is highlighted so I like to click out and I'm just going to go ahead and click there then I can either right click and go to hyperlink or I can use the shortcut which is command K which is what I always use just command K boom and it pops up so you can either hyperlink that heart to a web page you can put the the link to the exist exist uh, existing web page here that way when you click that heart it will take you to that web page this is an awesome awesome way to um to link youtube videos especially when you're teaching it makes it interactive it makes it fun it, you know click here for a youtube video the kids click boom it takes them to youtube but for the sake of this video we are working within the powerpoint so i am going to hyperlink to this document so make sure that you are in this document you have some little presets here it tells you the first slide last slide next slide uh, we know that Miss Macias since it's my name it's the correct one um, I'm going to have to hyperlink it to slide number five so I am going to click here where it says slide titles and click slide five and then I will click OK this one, since my name is not Ms. Gomez, I will do the same thing. I can right click and go to hyperlink or I can use the shortcut. And then I will do the same thing. Make sure that it's in this document, slide. And this one needs to be, uh, Ms. Gomez needs to be hyperlinked to slide six. So I will go ahead and do that. And then this heart, of course, my name is not Ms. Mendoza, so I will go ahead and hyperlink that one to slide six as well. That way it will, if I click on these, it will redirect me. But I also have to hyperlink these um, pages as well. So if I answer correct, I will be prompt to go to the next question. For the sake of this video, like I said, I'm just going to well, I'll just go ahead and insert a new slide because this is where my next question will go anyway. So I will again right click, hyperlink, slide titles, and if I get it correct, I will go to the next question, which my next question will be on slide seven. So I'm just going to go ahead and link slide seven. I, I still have nothing on slide seven because I haven't worked on it yet. And this arrow needs to prompt me to go back. So I will hyperlink that back to slide four every time. Slide four. All right. Um, another thing that I did, I also added some sound to this, which is super, super easy. I can also show you guys how to do that but maybe that will be on a later video. Um, but basically this is how you hyperlinked. Everything has been hyperlinked correctly. Now all I have to do is check if my hyperlinks work. So I will go ahead and... All right, so what is your teacher's name? I am going to first click the incorrect ones to check if they work because if not, it's just going to take me to the final slide and we don't want that we want to check to see if they work if you see if i hover over the hearts it gives me the option to click that is because they are hyperlinked so because my name is not Ms. mendoza it should take me to the incorrect page no worries try again click the arrow to go back so now i can click the arrow and go back and I'm going to click on this one. It should take me to that page as well. 
again it took me to this page so now I will go back and now this will take me to the correct page good job click below to go to the next question now I click next question and it should take me to the blank page page 7 which I still haven't worked on and there we go so that is how you hyperlink that is how you create on um, PowerPoint and how you hyperlink. I hope this was useful for you guys. Um, and yeah, let me know if it was useful. <laughs>